some of you it's not even that it's more so it's like like the solitude it's like a fucking safety mechanism because you probably know like you everybody's like you're not dumb like you're you know what this person is and what they do and how they act right that you could perceive it and if you've been doing something um in a situation with somebody that's like not treating you the best okay yeah, this trickster guy that's like i'm stupid and i don't know what i want so if you don't want that hello this is bridge of Mal with divine essentials Hey guys, we are going to do a reading. I so there's actually a couple new listings on Etsy if you haven't been on there. There's one for Alien Princess, which is like a aphrodisiac um, sensual spray or oil. And then there is a bundle deal for like my, my, sex my sexy decks. Empress tarot spray or oil that you can get that are new. on Like new listings are up for that. So, uh... I'm gonna do a reading. I didn't even really think of anything. I'm like, I'm gonna just grab cards. Um, let's do, let's see what's going on for whatever, you know, whoever, whatever you've got going on here. So I've got the Wolverine coming through, which is fierce, unpredictable, wild power struggles, assertive, possessive, determined, elusive. And then you get the coffin, and the coffin's like death, lost, inactive, forgotten, discouraged, absent minded, defeated, ending, dull, break up. So, I feel like, um, there could have been a power struggle between you and somebody, you know, uh, and then here we have going places, adventure, vehicle, vacation, trip, swift travel, overseas, enterprise, movement. So, you and somebody may have had, like, a power struggle, and then had, like, an ending, or a breakup, and, you know, one of you could be, like, moving across seas, away from the other, um, or it could just be feeling like that, because, like, when you think of the sea, it's, like, water, emotions, you could be, like, emotionally detaching from a situation or a person after having some, <clears throat> you know, elusive energies with that person. Maybe you couldn't tell where you stood with them, and when you can't tell where you stand with somebody, that kind of makes you feel like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? Why, why are you acting like that? And then it, you know, eventually leads to probably things not being so good. Um, so we have Owl, which says, sees through the facade, secrets lifted, insights, wise, aware, observant, explore the unknown. So I feel like <clears throat> you probably um, maybe had, like, again, something here. And again, it could be either vice versa. Like, somebody may have <laughs> felt that way with you, that you were being elusive. And, um, you know, something was hidden or something is a secret. And that they needed to, um, you know, become aware and see through uh, the facade. Like, what, what, is, what is it that I'm not seeing? So secrets have lifted because now I've explored the unknown. And I've looked at that elusive stuff, and then maybe as a result of what I found when I looked there, I decided to move away from it because it hurt me, or because it was not nice, or it was just like shitty stuff. Um, I split the deck when I was doing that, and I got the Six of Cups here, so uh, it could be a past life connection, or um, you know, even inner child stuff is, is tied all up into it. And then I have the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords that just popped out together. So um, you could be dealing with a person that you know, um, like the Knight of Swords can sometimes be like very logical about things. He doesn't approach it with like his heart. He's not like, I care and I feel. He's more so like logic. And <clears throat> he is very slow um, with anything. Like he's like, I'm just gonna fucking take forever to do what I do. And that's like, hmm, do do do. And it basically takes his sweet ass time doing some logical shit. So um, maybe that's part of your issues is that like this person was just taking too long to um, do something. Like like nothing was going on. It was like, <laughs> so you were like, okay, I'm seeing through this. Like this is going nowhere. And um, you could have decided like, I, I don't want to be uh, in this uh, pain anymore. I don't want to be in an emotionally unfulfilling situation. So we could have chose to put an end to it with the Ten of Swords. It may have been difficult and hard to do, but um, you may have been like, you know, like, I, I just I just want peace. I want balance. I want like somebody that can give to me what I give. Or I want somebody that's like not going to like string me along or, you know, pretend to um, care when they don't. And um, things like that. And then I got the Page of Swords here, which is somebody that... Um, is on the outside looking in so I feel like you know the two of you are like a sh you know not you're not hanging out basically you're like I'm over here and you're over there and I am not checking to you 
and yeah, I get the fucking four of pentacles. So it's like, I'm, I'm being, you know, this is mine and you can't have it. And I feel like that's basically how I, like my feelings, like what I feel, you can't know. What I want, you can't have, you know? Um, so like really holding all of that back and what's needed for the, probably the both of you is to heal your karma or to heal the, the wounds that you're carrying um, that makes this stuff happen because usually like this doesn't just happen <laughs> it's not like like healthy normal like thinking and, and actions doesn't lead to that so it's like it may just be all in the mind maybe you both have like some some me mental stuff that like you expect the worst or you think other people are uh, gonna get get the best of you if you let them in or um, you know I can't do this thing because that always leads to, to bad so if you go into stuff thinking that, usually you create that. Um, so you could feel like, I just want my freedom. I just want to be over here by myself doing my thing. That way nobody can ever get too close. Nobody can actually hurt me because I never let them in. They can't hurt me. Um, and then I have communication with co-creation. So I feel like it's okay to have freedom. It's okay to have you know your, your time on your own. It's okay to be like, I don't want to be like somebody's you know, like, let them use me, abuse me, and do do all that bad stuff to me, but I feel like there's a new blueprint that is needed anyways, like, because it doesn't matter if it's this person or another person, like, if there's something going on internally that's, like, making you self-destruct self or self-sabotage when you are dealing with another person, um, that needs to come into a place of balance. I get the harmonic flight, which is, like, balancing these two things with the balanced forces card so again beyond the mind whatever is in here i feel like is messing up people you know it's like whatever you guys are thinking inside of your brains i think that's causing you some issues and you need to be able to step through and into your power with the solar plexus energy radiate illuminate your you know energy to have a paradigm shift with the air card so um you know shift your mind your your perspective so that you can gracious graciously be receptive and receive love and shine your light and feel confident about who you are and surrender into it because i feel like right now it's like like you see this person's face like they're like ah. it's like you guys have like that type of energy when you're when you're dealing with somebody else like you're just waiting for the, the other person to fuck you over or break you or do something bad and we have unfurling back into love here with the heart chakra so it's like if you want that you, you, you want that ecstatic bliss and all that like it shouldn't it shouldn't ever really have that involved in it like you've got to be like you got to be willing to, to um, put that aside and you know get grounded and stable within your foundation because that's where like our basic needs and survival come from that's where a lot of our fear comes from so it all starts with us like we are our own home we are our own thingy we have to reclaim our own energies and realize what our unique gifts are and what we've got going on inside of us so that we can, um, you know, have loving compassion for ourselves and for others. And we can speak on that clearly. We can be authentic in our expression. And we can trust the innocence that we have inside of us or we can trust ourselves to be tapped into that innocence when we don't know you know, how this is going to work out with somebody. We don't know what might happen down the road, but we can't go into it like, and expect good things. So we've got our ancient future, which I feel like is basically like, you've been doing the same thing a thousand fucking times over and over and over. You just don't remember it. You've already been here. You've already done it. You've already gone through all the crap. And now you're just back to do another round. And it's like, you can have the transformation of those fears and those doubts and those insecurities but you have to have the healing, you know, of the mind and you have to come into a place where you transform and have an alignment in your energies that are going to help you to shift basically into a new um, awareness, into a new energy, um, a third eye chakra with a new perspective. Again, basically just seeing things differently, coming home to self, coming home to love, coming home to a new 
energy that you've reclaimed that's going to be powerful in bridging the reality between the realms that you're living in and co-creating with people so that you don't have to do it all alone. You don't have to be like, I gotta stay over here by myself and protect my emotions and my stuff because I can't trust anybody. They're all bad people. <laughs> Not everybody's bad. Um, and then we have established, ambitious, experience, development, achievement, longevity, mature sexuality with the freaking phoenix on the bottom. So it's like you want to mature, okay? It's time to come into maturity. It's time to come into a rebirth, a transformation, heeding the call. It's time for a renewal, the destruction of the old and a creation of something new where you surrender into the awakening in a fundamental change where you clear and purge. So... Again, it's like, yeah, we're going to have the death of something, you know, that, that, and for some of you, it may be like, okay, it's the death of that relationship where it's just like that, that, that person and I, we just couldn't do it because of whatever reason there's, there could be something devil here. It could just be toxic. It could be um, karmic. They could be, um, you know, like sometimes like people call it like a false person like like you thought it was the one but it really turns out that it was like the the catalyst or it was like a lesson or whatever um but right here it says things have been working against you but persistence pays off determined repetition makes your dreams real so even if you know things have been bad and you know not easy in your life and you've had the power struggles and the difficulties and all of that just know that like if you keep putting yourself out into the world and doing what you got to do you're going to eventually come to that place of temperance and balance and like yay I've, I've done it i've overcome the things that were fucking killing me so we have resourceful conservative tenacious disciplined wise ambitious prudent constant eyes on the prize and realistic so basically it's time to get realistic like can i win can i like if i put my eye on the prize and i'm dealing with this person is that even like it's like if I reconcile with them and I love them and I give to them like I've done before and, you know, maybe take that leap of faith, is it possible for us to um, have that transformation there and bridge the gap between us and to communicate so that we can compromise and have harmony and integrate our connection to unite with each other and to share and overcome the barriers? So for some of you, I feel like you could do that with somebody. Um, you know, it may just be like there's a there's a big mountain in front of you, but you gotta fucking climb the mountain, get to the other side, or you gotta take the elements that are there and bang them all up, get them out of the way. But others of you, that person may be deceitful and lying and manipulative and not what they pretend to be, or um, just have a big big ego issue, and you might need to see things in a different perspective and, and realize like you might be better off on your own island, you know, away from this situation which may be just at a stalemate because they're not yeah like they, they could have another person so they may like just decide to be with somebody else instead of you or um they could be at a crossroads trying to decide and honestly if somebody's at a fucking crossroads and they can't decide like i want you or this person it's like you've already fucking made your mind up then because if you cannot fucking decide or you're debating then like you really don't really want either one of them you're just trying to figure out what's the best thing for you right now because you're being selfish and you're not listening to your heart because people who listen to their heart just feel and know where to go but the ones that are like let me think about it and like how's it look on paper and like money and you know status and stupid ego 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 and how am i gonna best fucking like take away from this you shouldn't even want that fucking person you should be like okay well um guess you've made up your mind because i would rather stand alone than stand with somebody that's iffy and wishy-washy so this says guidance hierarchy corporate experience institutions erudite and um then we have birds which is communicate negotiate chatter debate discuss flighty nervous adhd and, and again like you may be dealing with somebody that's in that type of energy but they're just like they're not they're not stable they're not an emperor they're not a man of power and respect and integrity and like knows what they want and knows how to get it and you know um somebody that she needs because like she's too much like able to see through the facade you know if it's like a delicate little snowflake boy that can't get their shit together you don't want to, like you're gonna see right through it and and know what they're doing and how they're manipulating or when they're re retreating and pretending that um whatever they're pretending to you is the thing you're gonna know that that's not the thing 
and you're gonna be able to like you know be like ah. so if you want a union with somebody that's gonna last you need to make that judgment call to be like all right i gotta walk away from the like shit that ain't fucking serving from the people that ain't giving if i'm gonna be giving all of this love and this passion this desire and this fire and this you know romance and all of that i want somebody that i can plant the fucking seeds of potential with that are gonna actually grow because if i plant with somebody like that they fucking forget to water them. They forget to fucking come home. They forget to, like, you know, even go check and see, like, oh, look it, we have a return on our investment. But they're not willing to put an investment into anything other than themselves and their self-gain. So you don't want that because they're not going to be a good person on your team. They're just going to fuck your team up and get it all, ooh, and then you can't get forward. You want him. You want somebody that's like, hey, I'm going to add value to your life. And I'm not going to play games with you. And I'm not going to, like, debate this type of shit. Like, oh, should I should I talk to this one or this one? No, it's like, you, should, you shouldn't even be fucking, like, debating it. Like, you shouldn't even, uh, if you were talking to one person, that, that's what you're doing, right? You're talking to one person. You're not, you know, oh, wait, where did this other one come from? Like, how did this happen? Ooh, mistake, oops. You don't do that stuff. So you walk away. And you hold your value in your hands and have the completion of the situation that's not serving. So we have the tree people here with the sustenance. You know, that's the thing, you need sustenance. You need somebody that can nurture you, that can give to you, you know, like that, that loving, nurturing energy of like Pachimama, the spirit of the earth. We have a vision quest here, so maybe you need to seek out that person or that type of connection with somebody or maybe you need to offer it to yourself if you haven't given it to yourself you're given to everybody else so your foundation may be one that's a little like you know iffy and wishy-washy so if you've got an iffy wishy-washy foundation you're going to attract people that are going to be like <laughs> and not able yeah fuck it yeah this trickster guy that's like i'm stupid and i don't know what i want so if you don't want that you got to treat yourself in a way that doesn't attract that and that means I can't be like you know debating my value I can't be debating am I good enough for the poor or should I you know settle for this fucking shithead um, we have heaviness burden you know like and you could even just like be addicted to some um, type of connection somewhere with somebody that maybe um, I feel like for some of you, it's not even that. It's more so it's like like the solitude. It's like a fucking safety mechanism because you probably know, like you, everybody's like, you're not dumb. Like you you know what this person is and what they do and how they act, right? And like you can see that, you can perceive it. And if you've been doing something um, in a situation with somebody that's like not treating you the best and you're not doing anything about it to move forward, it's like eventually you're like you know like shit's shit's gonna kind of change right but i feel like sometimes we do this we trick ourselves because we're like i don't really want to be with anybody and i know they're not gonna fucking step up to the plate and i know they're never gonna do anything so i might as well you know deal and entertain this mess because if i stay here and entertain this mess i'm guaranteed my safety of not going into a commitment with somebody, not getting all wrapped up into that because maybe the last time I was in a commitment, it wasn't so good. And my inner knowing is a little bit afraid of what that could lead to. So I'm trying to keep my freedom by basically, you know, staying in this present moment with shit people that can't give to me anything worth having. And then it's like I'm not really missing much by not getting anything from them because, like, they're not offering much to have. And then when I um, do this, I'm not, you know, entertaining other, other offers that are actually valuable. I'm not allowing the conception of anything else or the birth of anything else to come about in my life because I'm over here and I'm, you know, being a little distracted with this mess that I've got going on and it's all accessible to me if I want to get the fuck out of here I can have a death of this situation and I can shape shift and shift over and awaken and get rid of and disperse this shitty energy with this situation so that I can find sustenance and I can find somebody who will honor me or somebody who wants to be there rather than deflecting and you know staying stuck in the past or um, you know, just keep repeating the same thing over and over and over. So finding the true purpose, 
that you have inside of you for your future and what is supposed to be the completion probably will include purging so that you can have passion and authenticity and creativity and using the imagination with your wisdom for your calling to be nurtured for wealth, for health, for protection. So, you know, getting your counseling from your ancestors because you can still be in the present. Freedom can still be yours and you can know that freedom without fucking tricking yourself or without dealing with the shitty people out there. You can trust that once your foundation is good, you can have an abundance of res restoration to your experiences, to your um, continuation on this path forward, and the amplification of the treasures of expressing your emotion to people who know how to receive it and who aren't gonna, you know, take it and, and hurt you with it or aren't gonna be like fucking you over. Um, you know, it's beyond the mind. It's like somebody that's gonna be in their heart. Um, you know, uh, the seamless, unspeakable. So it's like it's like you don't even have words for it. It's like you won't need words for it because it's beyond the mind. It's beyond this realm. It's beyond what you've been dealing with because you haven't allowed yourself to tap in to what the divine has to offer. You may have called it divine. You may have said, oh, I'm a divine this, I'm a divine that. But you probably deep down know that it's nowhere near close to anything divine. And when you get that divine and that balanced resources, that harmonic flight, that thing that's, you know, going to help you get your energy restored to reclaim your energy, you're going to be seeing a whole new world and you'll be stepping through that, like, woohoo, expressing a new truth in alignment as a healed whole person in alignment with the sounds of the universe, giving off your own new frequency and energy and sounds, bridging those realms and communicating as a co-creator with somebody and still maintaining that freedom. So I feel like that's been a main thing here is like, you've just needed to evolve into knowing like you can maintain your freedom um, and still, you know, have life force energy shared with another person. Uh, maybe in the past somebody fucked up your, your, you know, blueprint or fucked up your energy field or, you know, just kind of gave you a paradigm shift that wasn't so lovely. And now you're like, hey, I'm just gonna, just gonna, you know, deal with these people that don't go anywhere because at least I don't have to like give away my freedom to them I'm never gonna give away my freedom to this person because they're not they're not giving away their freedom you know like like you're both kind of doing that mirror thing where it's like they're they're maintaining their freedom and you're maintaining your freedom but in the same time it's like you're never going nowhere you're never gonna have anybody anything uh, anywhere that's worth having so you know it's maybe like time for you to even just commit to yourself and find that strength to yourself to listen to your inner knowing because I feel like we all kind of know at the end of the day like this ain't right like with this deal that I've been dealing with this person that I've been talking to or this situation that I've been you know dealing with for fucking endless hours and time it ain't going nowhere it's never going to get any better and it's never going to be anything other than toxic and deadly and gross and icky icky but I'm going to you know use it as a stepping stone to get to those good places that I'm supposed to get to but I have to, you know, first acknowledge that and then break free because right now I'm not really truly free. I think I'm free because I'm not in a relationship and I'm not going to be in one as long as I deal with this wishy-washy, um, washed up experience that I've got. But the true freedom will be to break free from that and have something that's aging well, something that's like wanting to be there with you, that you want to be there with you, that something that's going to be like wise and soft and gentle and beautiful and powerful. So you can have the aha moment of like, oh my God, like this is what I've been missing. I can have my rebirth. I can challenge the status of what things have been in my life and I can suddenly cut that shit the fuck out and go on the tracks straight to the place that is going to be the best place for me to be where I can choose who I want to love and I can communicate and receive messages from somebody that actually knows how to communicate that actually isn't just going to string you along somebody that really truly knows how to be a man and love and be supportive and be that you know faithful companion without this bullshit game of cheat for cat and all that shit that you do with people so you get to jump and take your leap of faith towards the divine rainbow and into a better place and it's probably going to take some steep and stones because we usually fuck things up on the way but just know using tact and diplomacy on your way 
um, it's time for you to stand in your own little island and uh, be the hermit for a little bit. So, you know, like, you, I'm sure you've been the hermit, but now it's, like, time to, like, kind of do that in a way of, like, that that is um, getting you away from this this person who probably has you mixed in third-party situations. So it's like, yeah, they've, they've got a lot of fucking um, bullshit and drama and comma and crap that they're bringing into your life that you don't need to deal with. And it just brings you down to even, like, talk to someone on that level. You know, don't go down to their level. Um, stay about that shit because it's not, it's beneath you. That type of behavior is beneath you and you don't, you don't, you don't belong down there. You belong up here with the ladies and gentlemen of like wisdom and divinity and power and respect and love and integrity and who um, do not put yourself down there. You deserve more.